Holy Coach, I'm here with the man himself. Yeah, and I'm here. The Kingdom Time Awards in New York City. Yes. Uh, before we get going, man, I haven't seen you or talked to you in like five years. And bro. it don't seem like it. It doesn't seem like it. It don't it. seem it like, like, like we, we don't just, miss a beat. Nah, man. And yeah. I remember going back to early 2000s, man, just yeah. um, your fervor for this work, man. So before that, let me not assume everybody knows who you are. Talk about what it is you do, Brenton. Man, you know what I'm saying? I just, uh, I'm an Olympic swimmer. <laughs> <laughs> now, see, this is, this is what it's going to be like. See, this is what I, it's going to be I'm like. I'm going to behave. It's all good. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, uh, uh, I'm a brother in Christ who happened to rap. I got a, a burning desire to see souls saved for the kingdom of God. Um, I really miss, I'm just going to say that. I, I really miss the times where we could go to concerts and actually experience the presence of God. Mm. I'm still about that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I'm uh, nine albums in. My uh, label, God Chases Entertainment, we 70 projects in mm. since uh, 07. So I've been putting in work. Um, you and know. who else is you, Ready Writer? Um, C Straight. C Straight. Yep. Oatmeal and Nazarite. Got it. Okay. Nazarite, the newest artist. Okay. Uh, he just put out a project called Rejuvenated last year, doing yep. really well. Yep. And Oatmeal, he put out his debut project. He's been my hype man for years, but he always, uh, he's been seeing God do so much things yeah. and people. And, you know, he's he's like 21, yeah. something like that. So he, he really is serious about ministry. You know what okay. I'm saying? So I'm like, let's, let's see what happens. And, uh, he got a newer, newer sound, so a lot of people have uh, gravitated to him, mm -hmm. and he, you know, I'm anti-stream sometimes, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I've said it before in interviews, but his streaming numbers are amazing for, right. like, a debut artist, so he's been killing. You know, it's funny, man, so I asked you to, to talk about what you do, introduce yourself, and within 60 seconds, you said two interesting things. What's that? I'm a Christian that happens to rap. Yep. And I miss when we have events where we experience. experience. Yes. Um, man, those are weighty, bro. Yeah. Those are weighty. So let's talk about the, the second one, experience. Yeah. How, you, I don't want to mess up your words. Say how you said it before. Experience the presence of God, when we, go to, God. when we go to rap concerts. When I got in the Christian, hip-hop, Christian rap, gospel rap, whatever you want to call it, when people are spitting scriptures and, and compelling people to come mm. to the cross, like... I would go to concerts and people would be rapping their song and then stop the music. Mm. Say something about the Lord or, or, or talk about what Christ did on the cross. Compel people to come. Somebody, and if it was in the church and if the, the artist happened to sing, he would bust into a worship song. You know what I'm yes, saying? Yes, man. And, You're taking and, me back, bro. And then the crazy part is you see people's hands go up and you see people worshiping and you see people being convicted by the power of the Holy Spirit. So that's what I'm about. So when I go places and, and, and you know, when people bring me in, around, I ask the, the pastors, like, how much freedom I got? Because I don't know what God is going to do. Like, even tonight, I'm expecting God to move because I came with a hunger and thirst to see people change. I dare you to stand in your feet and worship God in this place. Because when I struggle, hey, when I struggle, I struggle, I struggle. I got a lot of, I got a lot of struggle. Struggle, I struggle. I, 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 that's what I'm about, dude. Yeah. Like, I think I like rap wise. I think I'm dope. Like, who cares about that? Mm -hmm. How many people will be changed after it's said and done? When the music off, when people go home on their way home, are they gonna talk about how dope you was? Or I would rather people talk about, man, God really showed up, and I feel a change, and I need to make some changes. Or if they brought an unsaved friend, the unsaved friend was like, yo, this thing's serious. Because, mm, mm. like, my nephew Oatmeal, he been in, he's my nephew, by the way, yeah. he been in concerts when that happened. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And we would go home, and he would be, I would see him in the car sobbing, like, mm -hmm. I'm like, you good? He's like, I don't know what that is. I'm like, mm -hmm. eh, his name Jesus. 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right, so right. I miss that, man. And and that's and and that's what what, what I'm about, bro. I, I'm I'm not about everything that's happening now. I'm I'm about change and seeing people hard change. I want people to be saved, bro. Like I don't care about beats. I don't care about rhymes. I don't care about none of that stuff. You could be the greatest rapper at the end of the day when it's all said and done. Who did you lead the Christ? You know what I'm saying? Right, like, right. <clears throat> so, mm, come on. Mm, mm, yeah, mm, yeah, mm, yeah. All that. Yep. So, um, bro, I'm, you know, yes, man. Yeah. Yes, man. I'm with you on all that. It's almost like you were in some of our conversations on the drive up here and just over the past weeks. And, um, you know, for me, getting reengaged this year with Holy Coach. I see man. you. I see you. And, I see uh, you out here killing. No, no. I see. No, I, no, no. <laughs> I know this show. I see you. No, nah, bro. You I know, see we're you. Just trying to serve, man, and and help build systems and infrastructure, man, to help folks. Um, you're nine albums in. Yep. And your last video, um, gosh, I can't remember. Mind clear. Yeah, uh, with with the, you outside in front of the car, and then yeah. is that is that oatmeal with you, by the way? Yes, that's him with that's you. Him. Okay, yeah, all yeah. right, that's the home. So, because I know she's straight and ready writer, but I'm not familiar with uh, oatmeal yet. And I, brother, I hope to, to meet you in the, in the near future. Um, as you went into the ninth album, yeah, and, and this hunger I'm hearing for you, man, to see people saved, to see people. How do you think about your creative process now as you're going into preparing to 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 create art? I think the first thing is it's easy to be nine albums in and be discouraged because you don't see what you what you expect. But my starting point is what was the last thing God said to me? Mm. Like I believe the Lord spoke to me and told me I need I this is what I'm supposed to do. So until he says something else, I just gotta be obedient to the last thing he said. So yeah. and that was it. So First is that next, the process is I want to, I'll, I'll listen to what's out and see what, you know, because I go into a lot of high schools, mm -hmm. middle schools. I mm -hmm. talk to a lot of a lot of young cats. I see who they like. I ask them who their top five is. And when it's something crazy that I'm like, these dudes would not have anything in 2010. Like, mm -hmm. you would not have a career like a few years ago. So I would listen to it and see what, what they're talking about. And I would adapt some of those, adopt some of those styles and make them my own when I like them. Mm -hmm. And do something for the new cats, the people who've been rocking with me for a few years in my day ones. Mm -hmm. So I have to think about bridge. Yeah. Bridging each generation that's been rocking with me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That yeah. and I and I always go into um, I'll go into prayer, man, and be like, Lord, what you trying to convey? What what do I have in me that I can pull out and help somebody? Right. You know what I'm saying? What faith story? Because I, I think some of the best rappers can tell stories. You know what I'm saying? Like, K-9, my favorite rapper of all time. Mm -hmm, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And this dude, his storytelling <laughs> yeah, is crazy. Yeah, and yeah. I know the effects that it had in me. And I like my my the project I just put out, I uh, got a song where... It's a guy coming up to um, somebody saved and, and talking about how he grew up, and it's a it's a response like, yeah. "Do you really thank God real when this happened, this happened, this happened, and that happened?" Yeah. And then the response is, "I hear what you're saying. You're giving me all those reasons, but I believe that's a deflection. Mm. Let's talk about you and God, because mm. that's because th these are conversations I have with people all the time. They'll be like." You know this church thing ain't real. What about them priests touching the boys? What about when 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 God let this person die? How is this real? I'm like, eh, we can talk about those, mm -hmm. but let me focus on you mm. because if you died after me and you talk, you're gonna have to face a holy God. And what's that conversation gonna be like? Yeah. He ain't gonna ask you about no priest. Right. He ain't gonna ask you about your mama, how your daddy stepped out. He ain't gonna ask you about your situation. It's gonna be like, did you accept me or no? What's happening? Yeah. There's an urgency, man, in what you're talking about. This sense of urgency in, in ministry. Um, and I even, you know, even socially, I've noticed yeah, that yeah, in yeah. your social posts, bro. I, yeah. I, I've, I've taken notice. Ah. Yeah. Um, what? You know, when you think about you with the label, 70 albums and label, five artists, and the longevity of, of this, right, for yeah. you, 
how do you plan to sustain it, man? Well, I'm glad you asked that. So we, I, I'm an advocate for uh, indie Christian artists, mm. whether it's hip hop, whatever, because I've been doing this so long without no cosigns, without labels, without all of that stuff. You know what I'm saying? You don't see me on the big names, but God has sustained me. I still travel. I just came back from Japan. I was rapping in Japan. Mm -hmm. I'm all over the place. But it's developing a mindset of you have to create different streams of income from your music. Like you have to you have to research publishing. You have to research uh streaming and how you can get on playlists. You know, you have to I have you have to debunk the lie that People don't buy CDs. That's a lie. Mm -hmm. People, you talk to artists now. Oh, nobody buys CDs no more. Well, my last few shows, I was killing it. So I mean, I don't know what you're talking about. You have to investigate how to how to push merch. You have to be on your website. My my thought, I got a podcast. So my mm -hmm. thinking is, when you're an artist in this arena of information, you have to develop different platforms to push the same message. So my podcast, I cater to people who are entrepreneurs, kingdompreneurs, mm -hmm. and just try to use my experience on what I've learned right. to help their ministries. Right. Like, that's what I'm, I'm about, people sowing into people to grow their ministries. Right. So having those platforms, being visible, and having different streams of income right. while trying to pursue and be obedient to God. Got it. Boom. Got it. You know, um, <laughs> it's so funny because one of the earliest memories I have, man, uh -oh. of you uh -oh. is... When we used to, because we don't do it now, we don't we don't um, we don't uh, do artist advertising on the website now. But when we did, I remember uh, you came and you came to site and you were, you wanted to do some advertising. And no matter what, dude, you've advertised on Holy Culture several times back in the two thousand. Yeah, no matter yeah. what the sticker price was, you were like, "Hey, bro, look, I'm an independent business owner. We we gotta work up a deal. Trick. We gotta work up a deal. We gotta work a deal. We you gotta work like, a deal. Hey, we got, yeah, I work with hey. you. I'm, I'm grinding, bro. And you would hit me with stats on, hey, this is what I'm gonna do with the project. This is that. But kidding aside, what I always appreciated was the um, the approach to here's the outcomes I'm trying to drive towards, and here's what I'm here's what I'm trying to invest in these different. And ways. this is what I got. So my thing, I have to be honest, right? Like starting out, bro, I didn't have a lot of finances to work with. But right. I'm like, if we can barter, if we can do it, and I think, That's exactly and I think artists have do. to be like that because I'm gonna tell you what I used to hate, bro. People used to be like, "Can we build?" And that means, "Can I get something for free?" Mm -hmm. Back in the day, I mean, it might still mean the same thing now. But I always tell people, be honest on what you have. So if an artist approached me and want to do a feature, or whatever, yes, I have a feature fee. But mm -hmm. if you can't meet it. I'll meet you where you at. Like right. you, like we're all in the kingdom. Like yes, I have financial obligations I have to meet. But if you're trying to, you know, put your stamp or your your push push the great commission, I'm for that. Like let's work, let's do that. So right. yeah, dude. Like I mean. Yes, yeah. I I have to be honest, bro. Always, bro. Honest, <laughs> like I, this is what I got. Like, can you work? Let me, oh. How much for one reel? Like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? I mean, well, you would call. I was see. I was see. I was like, oh, Brent's about to. He gonna hit me. I mean, it, yes, <laughs> especially when the project coming out. I'm like, this is the one. Oh my gosh, man, that's awesome. So, um, with the rest of the label, yeah. Um, what, what's the next year look like? Uh, I think the 2020, everybody's dropping a project. Okay. Um, last year, uh, everybody dropped a project. We did a group project called Squad Goes, and that went over really good. Um, I had some trouble with my distributor at the time, and that really opened my eyes and shook me and shook my faith because um, hmm. I had a – so this is the crazy part, bro. Some wonderful person, that's the nicest way I'm going to say it, was, uh, you know, Google, you can report artists for having hate speech. Hmm. I so, yeah. Hmm. So, four of my projects got reported. I got reported once, and then in one day, three of my projects came back, and, they, and my distributor snatched all 70 projects off in a day. Wow. So that did that did something to me because I'm like, oh my God, that's my legacy, rah rah rah. I mean, I had to find four different dis distributors to um, 
because if something like that ever happened again, I don't want to try to re-upload mm. all projects, and I haven't still yet right. anyway. And um, that shook me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just just knowing the work that was put in, the people who depended on the labor for financial support in right. their lives and stuff like that. So um, now I just have to approach things smarter, and it made me think, like, how can artists, indie artists, take back ownership mm -hmm. of their music, their ministry, just in case something like that happens. Like, do we send our supporters to our website so yeah. they have a better gauge of their dropping? Or, like, I, my mindset has been, like, what's the next phase of art artist ownership um, and artist movement so we can cut out the middleman so if anybody don't want to hear our message, mm -hmm. which is, you know, the saving grace of God, where can we send people to a hub that they can be like, okay, this is the place. Like, we used to have the bus shop. Mm -hmm. We used to have, uh, what was the oh, MP3. That's right. Mm -hmm. And in the bus shop, I'll, shout out to bus if he ever see this. And shout out to you, like, people don't know those hubs for Christian artists used to pay, be paying people light bills. Like, y'all don't know. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, like, we need those things again. Like, do we need to develop a streaming service just for Christian rap? Like, what is mm. the next thing where artists can win and the people can get fed and where we can build up the genre on a different platform? Like, that's how my mind is working, you yeah. know? Mm -hmm. So that's how 2020 is me thinking about that, me pushing artists, me trying to help more artists do what they do yeah. and uh, try... I want to do for people that the people before me didn't do for me. Yeah. Like I always say, no co-signing stuff for Jesus. You know, I always say that, but it would it would have helped. So I'm like, what my experiences have brought me has has been wisdom and experience, and I and I can see things in front of a new artist. And I always tell Oatmeal about you know saving your money and making the right moves. Don't don't. Um, Take everything that comes. Yeah. Be prayerful over everything that comes in and see where God is leading you. Yeah. Not not the quick buck or the mm -hmm. quick feature or anything like that. Like these things take time. Like it's a slow burn yeah. where you you see lives change and sometimes you see people and and like I was in Cincinnati one time and you just never know. Mm -hmm. This lady drove from a whole nother state to see me in Cincinnati to be like, yo. I tried to commit suicide, but you mm -hmm. were your song was being played on a CCM station. I was like, "Word, I'm on CCM." Word, word. <laughs> and then she was like, "But after I heard the song, God really touched my heart." And yeah. so I I try to show Oatmeal like, "Yo, this is the outcome. And if you give your your efforts and your talents to God, you don't know. We won't know who all we touch until we get to heaven. Right. You know what I'm saying? Until God put on that DVR, like, check this out, homeboy. Like, ain't that crazy? Like, yeah, that's crazy. I ain't know that. that was, <laughs> and I'm like, Jesus, the well, bars is right. Jesus, the bars is right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, so crazy, that's man. how it looked for me, man. Just yeah. trying to figure things out, having an entrepreneur, entrepreneurial mindset, ministry mindset, and just trying to love people. Yeah. So, yeah. and those, that three. That's awesome, man. And what you said about that, that desire to build up something for artists. I think there are a lot of similar minds um, focused on that, man, that, that uh, I, I could see coming together. So, Well, hopefully we can get it, man, yeah. uh, because I think we've been too divided for too long. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it doesn't, and not even musically, but just divided too long on reaching people mm -hmm. and, and each other, yeah. building each other up, because it's so meant, dude, when you talk to these artists off camera and stuff, and you really dive into their lives and stuff, they need friends yeah. and a therapist. Yeah. And a therapist. All human, brother. Yeah, we all, all human. human. Like, all shoot. Human. All Everybody, human. all of us need it. You know man, what I'm saying? It's, it's good to see you, man. Yeah, bro. It's good to see yeah, you, Yeah, dude. It's good to see you. Last question for you. Uh-oh, uh, here we go. Your followers, supporter, supporters, whatever you might call them, Patreon, uh, subscribers that are watching this, man, if they were to ask you, hey, Brenson, um, one thing, I'll do one thing you asked me to do, what would, what would that one thing be? I'll just say the greatest commandment. Mm. Love the Lord that God with all your heart, soul, and mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. Like, you can't go wrong. Mm -hmm. You love God, you love people, you can't go wrong on nothing. And then I'll slip in in the... Uh, and like the 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 small print, buy some music. <laughs>
<laughs> buy some music. Get, get, get a new Brinson album. Reverse them tomorrow. <laughs> get the book. Oh, that's the name of the book. Ten Things Every Christian Hip Hop Artist Should Know. Boom. Mm, when's that come out? It's already out. Oh, okay. Amazon. Mm. Awesome. Bars and Noble, come on, man. We'll add the link to that on this. For boom, sure, for boom, sure. boom. It's good to see you, bro. Love you, bro. It's good to see you. Thank bro. you for this time. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying.